and adaptations. It can be further subdivided into these. Freshwater habitat refers to lakes, rivers, ponds and streams. Examples of animals living in these habitats are various types of fish, water bugs and water lilies. Some of these plants have their roots fixed in the soil below the water. Roots are much reduced in size and their function is fixation and not absorption. The stem of these plants are long, hollow and light. The stem grows up to the surface of water while the leaves and flowers float on the surface of water. Some aquatic plants are totally submerged in water. All plants of such plants grow under water. Some of these plants have narrow and ribbon-like leaves. These can bend in the flowing water. In some plants, leaves are often highly divided, through which water can easily flow without damaging them. Marine habitat refers to saltwater habitats in sea and ocean. The organisms living in marine habitats are known as marine organisms. Many sea animals have streamlined bodies to help them move easily in water. Know this, marine plants like algae are the main source of oxygen for us. There are some sea animals like squids and octopus which do not have streamlined shape. They stay deep in the ocean, near the seabed and catch any prey that moves towards them. These animals have gills to help them use oxygen dissolved in water. There are some sea animals like dolphins and whales that do not have gills. They breathe in air through nostrils or blow holes that are located on the upper parts of their head. This bears evolutionary significance. Coastal habitat refers to the regions where the sea meets land. There are variety of coastal habitats that support different types of living organisms. Estuaries are coastal regions where a river or stream containing fresh water meets the salty water of the sea. These unique habitats are supported by organisms like crabs, oysters, seaweeds and mangroves.